Two lovely lattes for two lovely ladies. I don't think we've been properly introduced. <coughs> Rodney. Uh, uh, Faye. Hi. Ah, as in Faye Dunaway. Ah, I used to have quite a thing for her back in the day, but uh, I'm sure you've broken just as many hearts. Rodney can't help but revert to flirt mode when he sees an attractive woman. He knows you're my date. He knows you're a lesbian, but he's an eternal optimist, aren't you, Rodney Love? No, I prefer to see it as sweet rather than an annoying ego thing. <laughs> nice to meet you anyway. Lord. And you, Faye. <laughs> sorry. That was naughty. Don't be sorry. <laughs> I like you more when you're mischievous. Do you? Mm. Listen, what are you doing later? Only we're having a birthday lunch for Rona. Would you like to come with me? As your official plus one. Well, yeah, if you like. Uh, unless you think it's too early, too full on. Of course not. I would love to. Thanks for asking. Great. I I'll let Marlon know. We're one extra. Thanks for letting me join you all. It's all right. Rona's been waiting to interrogate you since she first met you. Are you? What I actually said was that this would be a really good chance to get to know Faye. Oh, there was me getting nervous about coming. <laughs> oh, Leo's got his favourite game, Uno. Oh, that's mine too. Tell you what, why don't you and me team up and we can take the rest of the morning after lunch? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Goss. Uh, Rona, Marlon, I, I didn't realise you'd be here. Mary. Hello. It's good to see you. Not sure I can say the same, given the circumstances. I was going to order some lunch before coming to see you. Only now we're both here. Seriously? You want to do this now? I realise I should look good in advance, only... Only you thought it better to rudely interrupt our family lunch. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sorry. Uh, I realise it's not a great time. It's my birthday, Gus. Oh, God. It is. I, I, I should have remembered that. Sorry, so we're going to tell us what's going on here. Uh, April, can you, um, can you take Leo into the bike for a practice game of Uno? But lunch is here. No, please, April, please. Well, what's so urgent that it literally cannot wait? Right. And I've got two more chips. Oh, not now, Noah. Fine, I'll eat myself. Well, go on. Spit it out. You'd not be backwards in coming forward so far. I, um... I found a spot down the street. You OK? Yeah, uh, Rona, this is Lucy, my wife. Lucy, this is Rona. Rona. Hi. Sorry for the intrusion. I'm sorry. But this impromptu little guilt trip of yours isn't happening, understood? Mum. It's nice to meet you, Lucy, even if the circumstances are a little strange. Mm, well, there's the understatement of the century. You do know what you're asking of Rona is huge. I realise that. Do you? And yet you choose to turn up here, unannounced, with your wife to put more pressure on, and that's on top of lying to her for years! Mum, please, just stay out of this. It's my decision to make, not yours. Meaning you haven't already decided? It might not be a no. Oh, good Lord. Um, I don't... I don't think that's what Rona said, exactly. No, I'm not sure what's happening here, but maybe I should go upstairs and check on how the kids are doing with Uno. Thanks, Faye. Uh, actually, would you mind staying? I'm beginning to sense I might need a little backup here. OK. What part of this is all right? You are effectively asking someone to hand over their biological child, my grandchild. Mum, please, you don't know the ins and outs. Then help me out here, because there have to be other alternatives available in this day and age. You'd think, wouldn't you? Only have to flick a few pages of a magazine to see celebrities falling over themselves with children they're having in their mid-40s. Shame the real world's not like that. I'm not sure if you're aware, but they've had chemotherapy recently. Yeah. Rona did say something, and I, I... I'm sorry that you've had a rough time, but that does not entitle you to Rona's embryos. Mine and Rona's. Exactly. From when the two of you wanted a family together. You do not get to hedge your bets. Flip flop back and forth. I'm not trying to. What's the possibility of still having my own biological child exist? Only because Rona is too decent to send you packing while I'm not. I think it is time that you and your wife left. 
Give the poor girl a chance to breathe. Come on. Perhaps it's best we shouldn't contact you again. If you don't call, then that's for us to deal with, not you. Right. Well, that was a pleasant lunch. Happy birthday, me. Yeah, so much for trying to forget about stuff for the day. I'll um, pop these takeaway boxes upstairs for the kids. Leave you three some time. Thanks, Faye. I'm sorry about all this. Don't be. Family first, right? How about we try talking things through rather than getting het up with each other? Well, it doesn't matter if we talk or we shout, Mum, to be honest, because the upshot's still the same. Meaning? Meaning you don't want to talk. You just want to tell me what to do, what I should think. Yeah, because I've got your best interests at heart. So my opinion doesn't matter. I know how messy this is. I know the emotional minefield I'll be throwing myself into because I've thought about nothing else since Gus asked me, but it's still my decision to make. You're very quiet. What's your take on all this? Her ex having the child they planned together, factoring in another family for the rest of your lives, forever feeling on the outside of it all. Oh, my God, Mum. Talk about leading question. What happened to journalistic impartiality, eh? No one's impartial when it comes to their own puppet. Don't be so naive. Well, you must have an opinion. Yeah. Yeah. That this has to be Rona's choice. And it's my job to support her Whatever she decides. Basically, I'm the only one with the guts to say it like it is. Rona, this is a man that you left. Don't let some misplaced guilt fool you into thinking that you owe him something. Because well, you'd never guilt trip me, would you? What with this being your grandchild, as you were very quick to point out? Well, it would be. Yeah, and it would be my child, Mum. Except it wouldn't be, though, would it? Because I chose not to use those embryos. And as luck would have it, I got Leo. And I, I never thought that that would happen for me. And I am so grateful for that every single day. But none of that means it is your place to help Gus. Nor does it make it any easier to deny him the same. Look, at the end of the day, whatever I decide, it's me who has to live with it, OK? Where are you going? I'm going for a walk, Mum, because I've got a headache. No, don't even think about following me, please. There you are. I was getting worried. You feeling calmer? Yeah, yeah, I am. Take it, Faye's gone. <laughs> Although, Lord knows what she made of it all. Uh, uh, I'll get the kids down to do cake, try and close some of your birthday back at least. Uh, in a minute, OK. I, uh, I just... I just need a minute. I'm not surprised. All the stress and confusion. No wonder you're struggling. I'm not struggling, Mum. Uh, beg to differ, Poppet. I'm not struggling because I've made a decision. One that feels right. And? I've just told Gus and Lucy that I'm going to let them use the embryos. 